Now we've just finished the keratin treatment. Now we're gonna have to remove the protector we put on. Because if you have a client who has really, really thin nails, we couldn't really be going into a colored polish because the nails are really, really thin. And with the keratin treatment, we're not using a base coat. We're only using a protector. So what's gonna happen is the color without the protection of the caring base coat, you're gonna get a lot of staining a lot easier than you would if somebody didn't have thin nails. So if you put on the nail protector every day, you always have a fresh coat to protect the nail. Now we're gonna start with the caring base coat. This is how we prep the nail. And it's good to make sure that you're using this base coat along with the trend color and then you have the matching top coat. What it's going to do, it's going to form a seal. So you think of the four layers, the base coat and the top coat are going to come together as a seal. So you're going to get a lot longer wear. The polish is also going to dry a lot faster. There's also keratin in the colors, which is going to help fill in the nail so you don't see any little ridges. But it also allows for one coat of color. If you choose to just do one coat, it's not going to have that streak effect. Now what we're going to do for color today, I've chosen three colors that all complement each other. Now we're going to leave out these two fingers. We're going to do the three going in towards the thumb. We're going to be with the deeper blue. So as we were mentioning before, it's really good to not go right up to the cuticle. It looks really messy when you have a color going that close. But we also done all this work to get the cuticles nice and soft, so we don't want to reverse that. I'm going to put the coral and the ring finger. Now about a year ago, Europe was the first to bring out doing one complementary on this finger. But it's hit North America, so now we're going to change it up. We're now incorporating the complementary of two colors on the last two nails. And now the third color we're going to go into is the toe. And as you can see with the dark blue, this is where the character is playing the role. Even with the first coat being very, very thin, you can see it's going on very evenly. And then this is where we do a little bit thicker with the second coat. You also notice the keratin is giving it a really high gloss shine, so it gives the nail that wet look. Right, now once you've done your two coats, we can go into the top coat. So the caring top coat. This is something you can also use every two to three days. You put it right over your polish. It just helps maximize the length of your wear. Now you'll see as we went from the dark color into the coral and even the coral now into the taupe. And not once did we have to wipe the brush. A lot of times with other colors, you have to wipe the brush because you get staining, but you can see there's no staining at all on the top coat. And when you're doing this at home, when you're working with a dark color especially, if you get any on the skin, it's a lot harder to get out a cotton ball and use the nail polish remover. So you can use the nail corrector pen. As you can see, because it's got the little point, it's not gonna take off anything. It's not gonna wreck your polish. It also doesn't have the lint that you would have if you're using a cotton ball.